I'm just going to read you a passage from Kierkegaard's Unscientific Postscript, which I have quoted in my book Everyday Mysteries, which is an overview of philosophical background and practical ways of doing existential psychotherapy. So now it's Kierkegaard speaking. He says, So there I sat and smoked my cigar until I lapsed into reverie. Among other thoughts, I remember this. You are now, I said to myself, on the way to becoming an old man, without being anything, and without really undertaking to do anything. On the other hand, wherever you look about you in literature and in life, you see the celebrated names and figures, the precious and much heralded men who are coming into prominence and are much talked about, the many benefactors of the age who know how to benefit mankind by making life easier and easier, some by railways, others by omnibuses and steamboats, others by telegraph, others by easily apprehended compendiums and short recitals of everything worth knowing. And finally the true benefactors of the age, who by virtue of thought and spiritual existence systematically make things easier and yet more and more significant. And what are you doing? Here my self-communion was interrupted, for my cigar was burned out and a new one had to be lit. So I smoked again, and then suddenly there flashed through my mind this thought. You must do something, but inasmuch as with your limited capacities it will be impossible to make anything easier than it has become, you must, with the same humanitarian enthusiasm as the others, undertake to make something harder. This notion pleased me immensely. And at the same time it flattered me to think that I, like the rest of them, would be loved and esteemed by the whole community. For when all combine in every way to make everything easier and easier, there remains only one possible danger, namely, that the easiness might become so great that it would be too great. Then only one want is left, though not yet a felt want, that people will want difficulty. And that's Kierkegaard.